right, welcome everyone. We are Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Monster, Monster episode 59. 59. All right. Okay. So we have this Martin. whole yes thing with Martin, and he's been jumping back and forth in time with right. regards to his story. Mm-hmm. And, and he's Ava, back in the car. Uh-huh. And he's been after shot. He's going to Tenma. Yeah, after the gun wounds and everything. Mm-hmm. So what is coming up next uh, who knows I, I, his story's not over yet he's right. not dead he's he he's, says he has a lot of stuff to tell tenma mm-hmm. so maybe that means we're going to be getting that information dumped on us in this episode yeah um, it's more of just a, a question of how they decide to give us more information surrounding his character right and uh ava yep so yeah without further ado y'all let's get into this no ma- ma- wait Okay, yeah, that's a good point, because they have to explain why he knows Tenma. Okay. Okay. When and where? Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Jeez. 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 The man who saw the devil. Okay. All right. Mm. Mm. Wow. What a compliment. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a compliment. しつこいな、あんたも。また痛い目に遭いたいのか。消えろって言ってんのか。ほう。手とも動くな。動いたら撃つ。直接のボスが赤ん坊だということが分かっている。誰に命じられた。The <laughs> だが顔は知ってるぜ。ミスコ。あの女指差したんだ。若い男さ。ああ。若い男。こうやって金髪の綺麗な顔をした若い男さ。ただそれだけだけどな。エヴァ、今どこに？その例の依頼人の眼
逃げよういや俺と一緒に逃げよう<笑>あんた何か考えてるのかあんたと逃げてるのかあんたと逃げてるのかあんたと逃げてるのかあんたと逃げてるのかあんたと逃げてるのかあんたと人とは殺せないじゃあ悪魔なら殺せるっていうの私は悪魔あんたを建造天満に見立ててただけ殺しなさいよわお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わお。わそう、ひまいびょんばくてきょうだん。ああ、いいじゃない。ああ、いいじゃない。ああ、いいじゃない。ああ。誰か俺を探しに来なかった。なんでなのこれは。Oh my god! Oh my god. The music. Uh huh. No, not him. No, that was the guy that approached. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> His hand should have been swollen. Oh, he got it. どうぞ中にお入りください。Oh boy。どうぞこちらへおかけください。He's already dead.、Uh, is, he's yeah. already called people. あなたも彼に会いたいんでしょ、oh. 彼。僕も待ってるんです。もうすぐ彼来ますよ。Oh. 彼がやったので<笑>世界が終わる話をします。<笑> oh boy。その若造は危機として喋り続けた。それはまるで今日学校であった楽しかったことを楽しんでもらいましたかマルティンさん。How do you know my name? なんで俺の名前を知ってるんだ<笑>そうだ。次はあなたの話をしましょう。俺のことを調べたのかその前は刑務所に行った。名前はエッタ。ずいぶんと悪趣味だな。Wow. 彼女はひどいドラッグ中毒でしたね。あなたは必死にドラッグから足を洗わせようとした。愛ですか<笑>痛い目にあって、口直った。あなたの帰りを食事を作って待っていた。幸せな暮らしが始まった。でもあの晩、部屋に戻るととんでもないものが目に飛び込んできた。彼女の前の男が部屋にいた。あなたの姿を見て、何度も何度も言いましたね。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。でもあなたは、男と共に彼女を撃ち殺したということになっていますね。I would not be this, this kid gets a bullet hole in his head. Yeah. Like in the next 10 seconds. 彼女自殺したんでしょう。弁護士は彼女の手に証言反応があったので彼女の死は自殺と推理しています。自分が彼女を撃ったという自供を貫いた。あなたに殺してくれって頼んだんでしょう。か、当たり。当たったんですね。彼女を撃ったのはあなたじゃない。Oh my god。私を撃って。This is so depressing。Wow。俺だね。こいつ自分で撃ったんだ。<笑>
りそうなんだあなたは彼女を置き去りにしたそうやって彼女の願望を叶えてあげたんだ違うじゃああなたのお母さんはあなたが10歳の時投資してますよねあの時もあなたお母さんを置き去りにした。Oh. <笑> oh, I just figured out. Yeah, this guy's dead. This guy's so dead. いい毎日毎日アルチュのお母さんを家まで背負って連れて帰る。Like、a, a Johan fanatic. He's like trying to become something like that. Trying to become like him, you know? Oh my god, this kid's life. <笑>置いてきちゃったんだ、wow. そうですよねお母さんもドラッグ中毒の彼女も死にたがっていたんだ The music. 自分から彼女たちを解放してあげたんだ、oh. エヴァだって死にたがっているじゃないですかちょうどその時悪魔がやってきた俺は悪魔を見ないようにすれ違った見ちゃいけない。絶対見ちゃいけない。俺は子供のように唱えていた。わあ。わあ。That episode was intense, heavy, and crazy. Wow. So, like, so the devils, this episode、uh-huh. is basically the, the point that the monster has been doing all throughout the show is that there's a devil in all of us. And, and, well, yes. and, and, and Ava, yes, Ava has one for、mm-hmm. sure. This new freaky. Johan wannabe. 2.0, yeah.、Uh-huh. Definitely has that as well.、Right. If anything, his is more raw and he's all giddy about it. Huh?、Right. Uh-huh. Huh? Like,、yeah. I, I want him to die. I want yeah, oh, to die. absolutely. But absolutely. then Martin as well,、mm-hmm. coming to terms in a lot of ways with his own inner demon. <sighs> of, yeah. Like, he,、mm-hmm. he would rather run away from the problem than face it.、Mm-hmm. And I totally understand. Most of us are like that. Yep, Most yep. of us run away. Most、mm-hmm. of us do not want to actually、oh, yeah, deal、absolutely. with the horror,、yep. the suffering,、uh-huh. the, the darkness that's in front of us, that、that's, surrounds us. That's why his mother told him to leave her there. That's why his girlfriend told him to leave her. I mean, she、her. was drunk. Well, yeah, yeah, but, but yeah.、Um, and that's, that's why Ava definitely told him to kill her.、Um, yes, yes. Ava was, I would say, a little bit less in the. You know, intoxicated to the point of where her what she was saying wasn't,、uh-huh. you know, there, there was there was much more of a logic to it. Yes, because she explained that, right? If you know, exactly, you don't kill me, then、yeah. kill there was、you. there was a purpose rather than just her own ending, yeah.、Um, yeah, and it's just it just、mm-hmm. kicks you right in the feels. We're yep, we're still dragging out this Martin storyline because we needed to care about him as a character more, and I think that's that's really good. They did a great job of that.、Uh-huh. They brought in some royal、yeah. douchebag in order to give us basically、yep. someone to hate so much more than、mm-hmm. we could e- ever and- even hate. In-, in a lot of ways, Johan, because this is a weird thing to bring up, but Johan has been so distant recently. Oh, uh huh. And hasn't done his thing like he did with Richard in a long、right. time, except for maybe the kid. Which and, is probably the main reason why I、right. hate Johan at this point right now. Yeah, yeah, is the kid. And even then, Johan, when he does the things that he does, it doesn't usually seem gleeful. The kid、no. was the most of an outlier、yes. in that we didn't realize, we, it didn't fully make sense of why he was doing that other、mm-hmm. than just to get rid of this kid that saw him, right? Yes.、Um, yeah. But. <sighs> Yeah, but this guy. But this guy, this guy is, is he 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 gets off on it. He's he、yeah. he gets he、mm-hmm. gets way too much enjoyment out yeah. of it. Yeah. If anything, you can kind of yeah understand basically Johan's dead shark eyes kind of look、mm-hmm. of him just being like, yep, you know. Right. And then this guy's just like, huh, huh, yeah,、right. yeah. Like I yeah, almost it, expect him to be like, you know, you want to know how I got these scars?、Uh-huh. Right. It's it's the like because the fact that he was introduced to Johan was probably because they had determined that he was someone else that was had had、yes. potential. You know. Yes, he could、um, match Johan at the probably the basis level. Right.、Exactly. Just so that Johan wouldn't immediately. Shut down the connection,、uh-huh, but he would actually probably... maybe find him a little bit entertaining, right?、Um, hence, why they're still meeting.、Um, oh, that's a good point. What? That's a very good point. This kid probably was from the whole, you know, the the other kids' experiments and things like that. Oh, and sure. And he's being propped up as basically the the means by、uh-huh. which they get to Johan, but that just shows how expendable he is. 
Right. Because their real goal is Johan. Yeah, exactly. Because anyone they put in a room alone with Johan, they're basically saying, yeah, we don't care if you die. Uh The risk is worth it for whatever we're potentially gaining. Right. So the real question is, what value does Johan see in him? Is it just just an entertainment bit? Because he's like, oh, someone semi-similar to me, you know, really, you know, like... Do tell, tell me more. You know, maybe, maybe he's been honest with Johan and told him about his past. And Johan's like, I've forgotten a lot of that. I need, like, oh, I need help sure. remembering it. Mm-hmm. So he's not, you know. So Johan showing... is getting something from him before he disposes right. of him. Right. I think that it could be a very good means by which they could rope Johan in a little bit. Of course, they're playing with like the devil's fire here, but they, yeah, yeah, just they could, they could hang a very like precarious you know but but very plump fruit in front of him you know sure. uh, mm-hmm. uh what, what's the what's the phrase carrot yeah a very a very plump carrot in front uh-huh. of him meaning that oh we have someone who knows you from when you were little little right like and or, we've been grooming him you know mm-hmm. to to be like you to be yeah. like you yeah uh-huh um, you were but, the pinnacle, Johan. You could have been great, but well, now we only yeah. have this little kid who. Just, right, right. He's, we have to, you know. So, but 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 uh, uh, Martin and Tenma are now teamed up. Um, yep. There was the whole thing at the mm-hmm. beginning, which was confusing. But the way they set it up, it's like okay, they they don't need to actually show all the details of how those right. things came to pass and whatever. It we can we can take it for what it is, and yep. you know, it's all all plausible. Um, mm-hmm. uh, but now. But we still need to see the the shootout and everything because I thought like next wh- episode yeah because like when he went to the episode. room I thought it was gonna be something where he was just gonna freak out and just bam 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 shoot the guy right there you yep. know and then and then people that are like maybe Johan's cronies or something would pop out and try and kill him or something and he, and he just barely gets away but now he's, nope. he he left. But we don't know exactly where he's going because he's terrified. He's so, going to Ava. He's right, gonna be like probably. we're leaving, like we're out yeah, of yeah, here. Yeah, that's that's we're probably done. what it is. That's probably what it is. Yeah. Um. You know, and I think the problem is, is that they're they're gonna realize, wait, kid, you were supposed to like let us know if something weird happened with the meeting with Johan. Nothing weird happened. Well, then why didn't you tell us about? You know, oh. Martin showing up. It doesn't matter. He saw Johan. You right. idiot. Yeah, and he's yeah. gonna be like. Who cares? And they'll be like, giggle, giggle. and then they're going to send like seven people after him. Sure. That's what's going to happen. Right. That's right. what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, I thought, but the whole thing of him, of, of Martin going to the party, like, cause th- this is one of the great things about how the tension worked in this episode, mm-hmm. because we know that Martin's going to be shot, but we, but we know he's not going to die. We don't know when exactly it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. So, so when, when he like, when he leaves and he doesn't, you know, and, and he, he, he goes to Ava, but he doesn't kill her. It's like, okay, it could be right there. Right. No, okay, he takes her to a hotel and that's more or less okay. But then he goes back to the party and we're like, okay, it's going to be here. He's going to he's gonna find, you know, the, 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 the dude that, was, that the baby works for and just shoot him or, you know, or something like that. And then it's going you know, to all blow up and, and then he's going to get shot and he's going to try and find Tenma or something. Right. But it wasn't even that. And then he goes to the other place, but he doesn't do anything there, you know, and so. Yeah, and then they yeah. spent a huge chunk just having this new piece Mm -hmm. of crap unravel martin just in a one-on-one conversation Mm -hmm. and here's the thing here's the thing by him doing all that that prep stuff of him talking about the end of the world Mm -hmm. which by the way we'll, we'll talk about that right but i think he was basically doing that whole spiel thing in the beginning just to analyze him, just to look him over. Sure. Okay. And yeah. then when he once he's done that, he's gotten enough times like, all right, now let's talk about you. And it's like, sure. The minute he said that, I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. it's like no, 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 no. no yeah. that, okay, because you know you can look at it at a shallow level, which I think I did initially, which is, oh, now you're gonna die. Okay. He's uh-huh. basically right, saying, right. you know, you know, if you try to leave this hotel, you know, uh, you'll be, oh, be sure, and stuff uh-huh. like that, or, or he wouldn't do anything like that, or. I mean, we'll see. Yeah. But because he could still get down to the lobby and people be like, come into this car here, you know? Right. Exactly. <laughs> like that's yeah. uh-huh. that's still something that could happen. Um, yep. And I know, yep. I know guys that he didn't see Johan when he was walking down the hallway, but, well, but he has seen Johan. He like, has seen Johan. Yeah. Like, cause he remembered who Ava was pointing at. Yep. And then he, he was aware of Johan coming. Right, so even if he like, yeah, he wasn't looking directly at him and stuff, but but but, but still, but he's seen Johan, yeah. uh huh. And and the the fact that that monster as a story is able to make us so terrified of Johan when it's simply 
you pass him in a hallway. Yep. Like, and, and it's just like, <laughs> like, that's, that's absolutely impressive and amazing mm-hmm. when we haven't even seen Johan in so long. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, so do you think this is prepping for Ava to die as well? No. Okay. No, I think this is prepping Ava and Tenma's reunion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Here's the other thing, though. Mm-hmm. This young guy, if he's yeah. one of the kids, right, mm-hmm. then it makes sense that the old guy is uh, Franz it's, Bonaparte. Right. Uh huh. So the old guy, mm-hmm. I gotta say, he looks familiar. It's not that he looks like like I've seen him before. But it's like his features remind me of a mix of a couple characters. I think it's the hair. I think it's the hair primarily. Yeah. But he actually reminds me a little bit of Lung. And you Receding know, hairline? No. In the same way that Lung has these eyes that are just like... Snake-like? Yes. Yes. Because they really devious, go overboard with that. Devious, cunning, and a well of power meaning not okay in his case it's memory that's what that's what lung's thing is Mm -hmm. but this guy is like well he he sits at the top of a massive criminal organization so i mean mean, definitely wields power in that way i i I just say but something beyond that yeah if he's not Mm -hmm. franz bonaparte i'm i'm going to be surprised just based on the way he looked at him Mm -hmm. when he was by when he basically gave him the gun he's like i'm a killer right and when he did that, I'm thinking, God, you're an idiot. Like, this guy, for all you know, I don't see any bodyguards around you. Uh-huh, he could like, just grab the gun and shoot you. Like, doesn't yeah. this seem like you're breaking some kind of mafia protocol? Right. Like, why are your people? And then mm-hmm. I realize, oh, he's not scared. This guy doesn't need people. Like, the way he handed him the gun was like he was bestowing oh, a sure. lesser mortal one well, of these puny things yeah. called guns. And, He's like, and, oh yeah, you need one of these. Well, and one of Take the things it. that I thought was a little bit odd was the expression on his face when he went to Ava, mm-hmm. you know, to kill her, right? right? Because the thing is, I don't doubt that he knew what he was going to do more or less from the start. Like, you know, run away and all that yeah. stuff, right? Because uh-huh. he wasn't going to kill her. And <sighs> here this guy gave him a gun. And an and order. Said, and an order. Mm-hmm. And... But he didn't, but he seemed very compliant. He seemed very just like, okay, dead inside. Like, all right, yes. this is the job. I think it's partially the hierarchy thing where he's like, I, I don't want to show them that I'm dishonest, lying. Sure. We've noticed that every single time he's lying, he has a little bit of a stutter. And he kind of, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and it's not necessarily that he's lying. It's that he's nervous, I would say, primarily. Mm-hmm. And this was one of those moments where he was nervous because when he asked if he had a, when he's asked if he had a gun, he's like, no. And I think when that, right. when that happened there, he was, he was, you know, potentially he was being honest. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I'm not probably, he probably was. Yeah. But, um, he might've just become aware of the fact of, Oh yeah, I'm here. I'm here. And I'm and a I little don't bit of a gun and yeah. Uh huh. I'm right. a little bit out of, uh, yeah, exactly. Out of place. Yeah. So there's that. Mm-hmm. But holy crap, his life. Yeah. We like, got his backstory with his mom that he left her there in the snow when he was mm-hmm. 10. Yeah. And like, he had, had been dealing with her, her drunken stuff there, dragging her back uh-huh. on his back. Like, like and, and eventually he was just like, okay, I, I'm done. I'm tired. You know? Yeah. And, and that's the, the fact that the fact that they had it be that one for him as a kid, it's like, good grief. Yeah, but but then with the whole thing with his his girlfriend and walking out on her with the other guy, yeah, that oh man, to the point where he 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 was just so dead inside by the mm-hmm. whole thing, by yep. the betrayal that he just kind of I just walk out. Mm-hmm. He's just like and, I don't want to deal with and, this. And with something like that, because the thing is, is Ava, we know her very well, and we know that like she she despises yeah. herself enough for the kill me to be an actual possibility yep. right and the fact that it was also to to save him yep even even more so right yep. even more reason but with the little bit that they gave of this you know edda yeah um <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
This is that kind of convenient. Yeah, yeah. right. And um, uh, Eva. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But the little little bit that we got from her of what she was like. Right. And then to have that be his response to what happened. Mm-hmm. I absolutely could see how that would just absolutely break her because it's because it's there's the there's the self-hatred mm-hmm. but then there's when you yeah. when you see the look in someone else's eyes where you you realize just how how uh, disappointed they are in you yeah yeah uh-huh. a good way to describe it is when you have a dog and you talk in a volume that's normal volume mm-hmm it doesn't matter the words you're saying. It's the tone you say it in. Sure. It's the body language you give off. Yeah. If you just look at a dog in a disappointed way, and this no, dog like, has oh, it, and this dog has any mm-hmm. any care or love for you, they will notice and they'll go, like, don't don't mm-hmm. no don't look yeah. at me like that. For a human being, someone that you've loved, you've spent uh-huh. time with, you've given your well, your body, mind, and soul to, mm-hmm. and they see you looking at them like that in the most oh, intense yeah. way, at the most like vulnerable point yeah. of your betrayal, basically. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. Or, or you're failing them, I would right, say, because, more so than a betrayal. Right, because he helped her get, take her life back. Yeah. Right? Like, like she kind of owed him everything. And I mean, then, like, yeah, she owed him she a was, lot, yeah. Yeah, she owed him a lot, right? Mm-hmm. And, and, and then she basically throws that away yeah. right in like in her own self-destructive you know tendencies and all that yep. throws it away knows immediately that she screwed up right knows immediately that she screwed up mm-hmm. and then knows that he knows that she basically took everything that he had done to help mm-hmm. her and cast it aside and now that he was done with her that in a lot of ways in a lot of ways I want to add an addendum to that is that it's not that he was done with her. It's that he looked at her and just said, I'm tired. I'm dealing with this tomorrow. And it's the, it's the lack of regard. It's the, it's the Mm -hmm. devaluing. I would say in the same way that the problem had probably been something that he had dealt with over and over. This is a a Uh mirror of his mom. This is a mirrored in Ava. It's, it's repeating to him over and over and over again. I love Mm -hmm. the brilliance of the writing in that. Oh yeah. But it's him looking at it and just being like, "Not right now." No, I don't. I don't. He's like, "I'm yeah. just not strong. I can't. I mm-hmm. can't deal with this right now." Yeah. And it's yeah. that's how little he cared about her in the moment. Basically, her value to him, like the thing that kept him fighting to get get rid of her addiction to drugs and stuff mm-hmm. like that, was always there, fighting, fighting, fighting. Right. And this time, he's like, "I'm done fighting." Right, because I'm it's done it's the it's not the it's not like the, he might have come back to her in a day or two like he literally could yeah, have he uh-huh. literally might have we don't know right. mm-hmm. but yep. then when he yep. leaves and she shoots herself he he's like mm-hmm. <laughs> comes back sees it mm-hmm. traumatized and without even like a moment's hesitation just pop shoots the guy yep wow yeah yeah And all this set in the backdrop of them building up basically uh, another potential uh, crazy thing going on with Johan being well, roped yeah, back into too. this organization uh-huh. right. and them having talks of the end of the world, well, which okay. doesn't seem so, at all in line with so, Johan's thing in well, terms of his personal goals. So maybe well, he's gone mm-hmm. back to some of his older stuff or... The, what he said, What it was either what he said before or what someone else said about him. I can't remember. I think it was... Mm-hmm. Um, Someone else saying that they remember him saying this. What he wanted was to be the last person alive at the end of the world. Yes, yes. So, so and, and the end of the world, that, that yeah. fits in that sense. It just depends uh, on how he wants to get to that place. Right. Uh-huh. I think that that's something that these kind of, you know, uh, these kind of people are like, oh, yeah, that's great. Because they're not mm-hmm. thinking of it in terms of where Johan's thinking of it. They're right. thinking of it as, yes, the, the Third Reich will rise again, you know, and, and uh-huh. they're, they're thinking like this will be some, you know, big thing where only we will survive or something. Right. But Johan, if he's actually going about that, is no. He, yeah. Like, that doesn't fit perfectly with him. If, if anything, even the, like, I always kind of liked the idea of the last person alive at the end of the world. Mm-hmm. But if anything... I that seems that <laughs> no offense, but that seems too small for Johan. Like, oh. like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like sure. Johan getting the entire sure. human race to yeah. kill them, uh-huh. kill each other. It's like okay, yeah, yeah he could probably do that's, it. You know, that's stupid but, easy. 
like but, yeah why do that it's like why yeah. do that no right. no no why i think end the i think game? i think i think johan i think johan would focus more on um would focus more on something that would go beyond just himself like he would he would he would want not necessarily to be recognized but but he would mm. want something that's more immortal something that's more eternal something where his right. his influence would something. be truly mm. truly you know you know truly like the, at the although, top although know? at the same time he's put yeah. so much effort into making himself disappear yeah which is kind that's of weird. true like because i mean maybe that's that's how he could truly have the most influence is if people don't know where the influence is coming from you know um but yeah yeah but anyways johan's johan's involved with these guys again Mm -hmm. and he doesn't seem to be rejecting it yet so he's probably just kind of in this Mm -hmm. state of oh let's see where this goes yeah if anything i think he's um he's smart enough to realize that Oh, now there's another group of people that know who oh, I am. Oh boy! Yeah. Guess what's gonna happen to all these people? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what happened to one of the other four people of the, <laughs> the, the group? Like, Johan killed them all. Like, why do you think this will be any different? <laughs> oh man, doing the and same it's thing probably twice because they have know, expecting a different out- outcome. Uh, sure, and that's and probably what has Johan intrigued. Probably, mm-hmm. Daddy, I've come. Which home. is which is probably why they're not actually. Oh wait, no, but they they did. Franz Bonaparte introduced him to if it was Franz Bonaparte. Right, but he might not have he might not have was. known that that was him and sure. Franz Bonaparte definitely probably would not have introduced himself as him at that kind of a situation. Sure. It'd probably be a hey, let's talk and then they go back to, you know, some place and then it's but like But like the fact that Johann has yeah. seen him if he were to know that that was him with his ability depending on Johan's memory stuff though no no no, not not the memory stuff just the fact that if he knows that this oh, person is the sure. person who you know did all that early training stuff mm-hmm. he'd be able to do that you'd be able to take him out if you want yeah to. that that is a that is a great point but i i think what's well, another thing you can extrapolate from that in that there is now i'd say a slight possibility that that's not franz bonaparte based on the fact that Johan right. saw them mm-hmm. And there wasn't any sparks yeah, flying exactly, or something right, like that. Uh-huh. The fact that the fact that the focus person on that introduced scene. Johan to someone else. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. We Y'all, will. This was a great oh, episode. Boy. Great stuff. Yeah. Whew, I gotta sneeze real quick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sneeze the demons out. Mm-hmm. That's Ooh. right. That's oh right. Oh my god. But guys, if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full length reaction there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us about stories or just hang out in general and do whatever. Yep. And Jake was going to promote something here real quick. Indeed. So my sci-fi novel Battle Lines is available for pre-order still. Mm-hmm. Link to the pinned comment or er, link in the pinned comment to the Kickstarter where you can get it because it's an absolutely amazing story with yep. wonderful characters. I cannot wait for you to go on the journey with me. All right, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.